In this video, I'll show you a simple way to sell tickets on your WooCommerce store. Throughout this example, we'll allow customers to choose the date in which they'll be attending the event and also we'll want additional information from those customers, such as who's coming, whether it's an adult or it's a child, and then we'll charge them accordingly. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, let's get straight into it. For example, here we've got a ticket for our VIP farm tour, right? And we've got 50 of these tickets available. So the first thing the customer needs to do is a need to choose when they want to book in for this VIP farm tour experience and here I've just specified a few select dates in which we're running this particular farm tour run so they can either book on the 16th or even the 23rd for example here I can choose the 16th and then we get to specify how many adults are coming and also how many children are coming so for adults the ticket is $25 per adult so for example we can say there's two adults coming and here the price is being reflected accordingly and then maybe there's three children coming okay so now the customer can go ahead and add this to cart and then go ahead and check out we can add more information as well um, for our ticket but for this example i've just added these few basic fields so then the customer can go ahead and check out and experience the VIP tour experience on the particular date in which they chose here, right? So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovop.com. Go ahead and download the AOVOP Extra Product Options plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and upload the AOVOP Product Add-ons plugin. So we'll just go Plugins, Add New, Upload and install the plugin once you've done so we'll go ahead and create our first ticket right so we'll just head over to products and then add new and for this product name we'll call this one vip farm tour we can add a description we can add our image as well and the base price of this ticket we'll just set it to zero you'll understand why in a second we'll just set it to zero for now because later on we'll add um, our additional add-ons such as whether it's an adult coming and then we'll change the price differently based on the customer selection so again we'll just leave this as a zero for now for the inventory here we'll go ahead and enable stock management right so let's say we've got 50 spaces for this vip experience we can just set the quantity 50 so essentially there's 50 um, tickets and um, we'll leave that as it is we can go ahead and specify the category so we'll say tours and then we'll just click publish so let's go ahead and preview this product okay so this is how it looks currently which is fine now we'll go ahead and get those additional information so let's head back over to our dashboard we'll navigate over to AOV up and then product add-ons and we'll go ahead and create a new option set here we can give this a name we can say farm tour it's just for internal purposes and then we get to choose which product we want to apply this to so we can apply it to all products specific product or category or a specific product type so we'll select this one here specific product and then we can go ahead and search for our farm product okay and it's this product here okay so now we'll go ahead and configure the additional option so for example so the first thing we want to find out is when they plan to come right so we'll click add new option here and then we'll say a date picker we'll say reserve your space okay and then we'll scroll down to where it says date here and we can add a label i'm going to leave it blank uh, we can specify the date format okay so we want to disable the previous date and also the current date okay then we'll enable this option to specify when we're actually running these particular tours okay so we're in february now so let's say for example we're running these tours every friday so we can select the 16th and maybe we've got one on the 23rd right so these are the two options that the customer will be able to choose from if you want you can also allow them to specify the time so we're just going to leave this for now we just want to keep things super simple and then we'll hit save okay so now we've got our date selected now we want to find out a bit more about who's actually attending our event right so we'll add a new option here and then we'll add a heading and the heading will say something like how many people are coming let's set this to h2 let's save and let's go ahead and select a number field because we want them to input how many people are coming so we can say adults okay then we can set a minimum number of adults allowed to come per booking 
right? So we can set this to one and maybe five, right? Okay, so that's fine. This feels definitely mandatory. Then we also need to adjust the pricing. Okay, and the cost is, so the price is gonna be multiplied by the number of adults that are said are coming, right? So for one adult, it will be, let's say it's $25, right? Or one adult, um, so that's fine. Let's save. And then I'm gonna create another number field. This time it will be for children, right? So we'll click add new option. And then again, this is a number field. And then for the label, we'll say child eight and above. And we'll basically just replicate what we did with the last field. So we can set a minimum amount, a maximum amount, maybe four child, right, per group. And let's change the pricing. So the price will increase and it will be multiplied by a particular value here. For children to have the VIP experience, we'll charge $15 per child and then we'll just save. Okay, and I think that's it for now. So let's save changes. And now let's view our VIP farm product, which is this one. So let's refresh this page and we should see our additional information, right? Okay, so here it says reserve your space and then we can choose when we want to attend this VIP event, right? So for example, I can book this particular slot here and then here it's saying how many people are coming and then we can say we've got two adults, right? Here the price is adjusting accordingly. And then maybe we can say we've got two child or even three child attending. And we can add this to our basket and then just check out as normal. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.